Now, in this video, we are going to simulate a chemical reactor. So, this is an example, an elementary example that teaches you how to simulate a continuous system. And now, this is system simulation and modeling. Now, in chemical reactor, more of this is a concern of chemical engineers. But what they have to do is they have to design a reactor that reacts two elements to produce a substance or another substance called C. Now, this is what a chemical reactor or do. So, given two substances A and B, they brought together, they produce, it produces a certain chemical substance called C. So, it's known that one, of gram, one gram of A combined with one gram of B produces two grams of C. So the rate of formation of C is proportional to the product of the amount of A and B present. That means the amount, the time it takes to, to prepare the C is depends on the gram presented in those substances. So in addition to forward reaction, there is also backward reaction. Now, at any time of T, if A and B, C are the quantities of chemical A, B and C present, so that the next gram of A is determined by the following equation. So the next gram will be decreased by this amount of value and the B also decreased by this amount of value. When you calculate this one, it will produce a negative result. And the C or the substance will be increased by some amount of value. So this, where this K1 and K2 are called the rate constant. Now, without dealing with these formulas, it has directly simulated such a kind of system. Now, that means at any time A, I said that to predict the next gram, which means given a gram of at a time T, we can calculate the gram of the next time or from currently time t plus change of t, we have to use the gram of at the current time plus this derivation. So the derivation is here. Just you will substitute this formula to this one times change of t. That's all. This is the general formula to, to find the next prediction gram. Now, let me use a pie charm to simulate such a kind of system. And now, let us talk about T, for instance. T is for how time you wish to simulate. You can simulate for one year. You can simulate for one month. You can simulate for a certain period of time. Let us say for one hour. So you have change of T. So N is T divided by change of T. That's all. Now this is the general formula to just a specific formula. This is uh, a gram of a change of T is equal to the gram of A at time zero plus this derivation times change of T. That's all. Now let us simulate. I'm going to use PyCharm. I'm in Ubuntu. So to open up terminal, I just control plus T and just I'm going to navigate where the pie charm is installed I'll open up the pie charm now this is the pie charm window this is the window you can see right now and let us see the flow chart this is the things now this is a flow chart it says that read k1 k2 a0 b0 c0 t and change of t and n you can compute N by using T divided by change of T. So you don't need to have accept from the user. Just you need to accept T and change of T. And you start from I to 0 up to N and compute A change of I T of B of change of T, C of I times change of T. That's all. If it is... Um, i is greater than n you just print the values of a, a b c of as arrays and you stop 
this is a very simple chemical formula now let me write a new project called chemical reactor now it has uh, this pie charm automatically creates the main class I'll get rid of these things I'll remove this one I don't need this and I just don't need also this one I just need only this one now here I'm going to create a variable called A and let me assign as 100 and B is now 50 and C is now 0 now this is a current value of A, B and C in grams now I want to simulate of a change of T by 0 0.1 minutes that means the change of T increases by 0 0.1 and I need to have defined my rate constants 0 0.008 is one of K1 and the K2 value is constant this is given by the chemical engineers as I have already told you that and now N is 50 that means change of T plus T change of T or T times N gives me 5 so I want to simulate for 5 minutes so let me write a for loop this is a for loop in Python so for 50 that means for 5 minutes I just see want to see the value of A B and C if I run this program I will see 50 times A 150 B and C is 0 times now I want to change A so what will be A after 0 0.1 so to do that A will hold the previous value of A plus and I will substitute the formula K2 times C minus K1 times A times B and this all over times with theta or change of T so I will copy this is a f the same formula with B I'll copy this one paste over here this is also paste and this is for B and this is now correct and for C let me paste this one and let me change this to C again this to C and I think the formula is K2 times C this is the reverse and 2 times K1 times A times B minus K2 times C times T of T so that's all this is the general formula uh, uh, of each individual function at time t so uh, this is it and let me run this one to run this one you can just run me <coughs> as you can see now c were a were 150 and 0 is the first print statement and the second time to a is 96 and B is 46 and C is 7 so to see some kind of A equals to do you can do here to see here I can say A equals A B equals this is a concatenation in Python in the print statement so as you can see a 500 b and c now c is like this one and when you go at the at the first one at the step 50 a 52 b 4 and c is 87 
grams. Now at this time we can we can stop the reaction. So this is it. This is a simple chemical reactor simulation of the to simulate the implementation. That's all. Thank you very much. I hope this video is useful for you. And don't forget to subscribe. See you in another video.